Welcome back. You're still watching Technoholic and it's time now for that global exclusive that we've been promising you. A uh, whole two days before they showcase it to the world at the Mobile World Congress in Barcelona, Notion Inc. is going to show us the Adam. Um, Rohan, thanks so much for showing this to us. Will you just explain to us uh, how this is going to be different from the product that will finally launch? Is this more or less the final hardware? Yeah, this is the final hardware in terms of look and feel. Uh, we are doing some changes on the uh, camera area, but uh, yes, this is the final one, 13 mm. So it's going to be 13 mm in width. 13 mm in width. Yeah, we have two variants, 13 mm, and the other one is 11.6, 11.8. Okay, <coughs> okay, just take us through uh, the, the outer parts of the hardware. How many ports are there? Uh, you know, how many USB ports? How many HDMI ports? What all have you got on the outside? So uh, let's start with the camera itself, because uh, if you see other tablets they, out there, they will actually have either two cameras or one, or not at all, like uh, what you have an iPad. You don't have an iPad. Then uh, what we have done with the camera, we have filed a patent for this as well. You can just take a camera and actually swirl it around for 180 degree. So you can take photos of other people or yourself? Yes, and I actually at 90 degree I can take a live uh, video of uh, say a presentation or in a classroom and actually take notes on it. Right. Yeah. So this is, this is one of the very interesting things. The other thing is the backside trackpad. That's actually a trackpad? Yeah, that's a trackpad. Which okay. You, so now what happens is like for example if you want to uh, browse your uh, uh, internet where you have to actually go and click small links. You can actually use your backside trackpad and actually go and click. That is one thing. The other thing is that... Can I just have a look at that? Yeah. So I'd actually have to get used to moving a uh, mouse cursor like this. Yes. Which um, I think will take some getting used to, right? Yes. Uh, but once you do get used to it, is it easy to use? Yes, uh, as, as easy as uh, just a touchpad? You uh, imagine people using this backside trackpad the, the, as well the, because the, this is a new input method, right? Yes. The concept might look a bit uh, like uh, very new. For example, when you had the uh, QWERTY keyboard in your small mobile phone, you were thinking, oh my god, how am I going to do it? But well, suddenly right. everyone wants QWERTY, right? right. So uh, we have tested it and we actually feel that this is one of the uh, most innovative ways in which, in which you can feel and actually browse through. Right. And you've got two USB ports on the side? We have got three USB ports because we expect people to attach their, key, uh, their keyboard mouse and one data transfer. So we have uh, two here. We have one here. Okay. And we have one SDMI output as well because okay. the Tegra chip is 1080p uh, video you can watch anywhere. So you can just take a video out to the television. Right. And now speaking of video, uh, let's see that screen. We've actually got sunlight over here and shade over here. And you say that the screen figures out uh, how to adjust uh, the ambient light. Yes, definitely. If you, if you look here, it's, uh, again, the ambient light is fighting with a normal LED. But if you actually go directly in the sun, you'll see it's a completely monochrome display. So when you read text or when you're uh, browsing internet, it's crystal clear. So you don't have to actually hide your uh, tablet like you do uh, with your mobiles. Okay, actually before we go any further, I'm going to put my MacBook here in the sun and just show you the difference between a regular LCD screen and the Notion Inc. Adam in sunlight. So I can barely read anything on uh, the regular LCD, but uh, this Pixel G display really looks good in sunlight. Yeah, it does. And the best part is the power performance. Right now, the, your, your normal LCD is consuming some 2.4 to 2.8 watts, and this is consuming 200 milliwatts. So it's 10 times more efficient in sun. So even with Wi-Fi on and using uh, applications as normal users would use, you think this can give 10 hours of battery life? What are your tests it's, showing it's right now? It's more than day. It's like uh, more than 10 hours for video. Okay. High definition video output. So wow, 24 hours uh, of battery life is pretty impressive for any device, especially with uh, that size of a screen. So. Uh, we're pretty impressed with that, too. but what's uh, now left to work on as far as uh, some of the uh, you know, last minute glitches or last minute engineering issues are concerned? Uh, right now everything is done. We are just fixing the, uh, the top screen, so the complete hardware is done. By when do you uh, plan to have uh, the final software ready? The software release will be there uh, in May okay. and all the testing will be done. So when the device is out in June, the software will be ready with the user interface. Okay. Now, another thing that uh, you know, many people were disappointed with as far as uh, the iPad is concerned was that the touchscreen keyboard was uh, a bit uh, weird, you know, and something this big, you can't really use your thumbs properly. Exactly. Uh, do you have a solution uh, for the keyboard as well? So, what you, if you can see right now, if I open this message application, this is your normal uh, Android keyboard right now. Right. And you see, and if, if you observe, the layout is lost. Right. So suddenly where your layout is something uh, which is a, a kind of V, is actually uh, transformed into a rectangle. Apple has done a good job, but when you're holding a device, you, you, uh, you will think of using uh, thumbs. thumbs. And they actually have a split keyboard as well. So in terms of keyboard, it's a good design. Uh, can we have a look at uh, maybe uh, some applications or some uh, e-books? We are doing quite a few things. For example, there's uh, the small application which is like paints. You can draw stuff. You can do different things. But what essentially we are doing, we are opening the SDK, which is software development kit, to other people. Right. So we are giving the source code of this application, telling people come out with your own innovative ones. Oh, so it's quite responsive as well. Yeah, uh, this is this is a capacitive screen capable of multi-touch. 
Right. So the final version will have your own custom user interface and will be multi-touch enabled. Yes. This is the one which will launch in June. Yes.